Hi everyone, in this video we will go through concepts on profit and loss along with few simple problems. There are few key things that we need to understand with respect to profit and loss. Cost price is the amount or the price incurred in manufacturing a product or manufacturing an article or manufacturing an item, right? Suppose you are manufacturing an item, what is the amount required to manufacture it? What is the price required to manufacture it? That becomes a cost price. It is also called as the buying price of the article. Selling price. Now, once you manufacture an item, you would sell it to people, right? You would sell it to people. The price at which you sell is called as a selling price. For example, let's take the example of shoes, right? To make a particular of shoes, if the amount required is say 1000 rupees, then the cost price is 1000 rupees. Now, if the same shoes, the shopkeeper sells it to the customer at say 1500 rupees. So this becomes a selling price because he's selling it to the customer. It becomes selling price. So 1000 rupees is the cost price and 1500 is selling price. He has sold it for more than the cost price, right? So therefore he is at profit, right? He has gained money. So the extra money is 500 rupees, right? 1500 minus 1000 is 500 rupees. So this 500 rupees is the profit. So therefore profit is selling price minus cost price. On the other hand, say the manufacturing of the shoes is 1000 rupees and is sold it for say 800 rupees. Cost price is 1000 rupees. He sold it for 800 rupees right to the customer. Now what happened? The selling price is lesser than the cost price. That is he sold it for lesser than the actual price. The price to make the shoes is 1000 but he sold it for lesser price which is 800. So there is a loss for him. Loss becomes cost price minus selling price. What is loss? Cost price minus selling price. Basically here cost price is greater than the selling price. Therefore I take the greater number. Cost price minus selling price. So loss is incurred when article is sold for an amount less than its cost price. So loss formula is cost price minus selling price. Now in this example is at loss of 1000 minus 800. That is cost price minus selling price which is 200 rupees. Now, how do you find the profit percent or loss percent? You find the profit using this formula and divide by the cost price and multiply by 100. Then put a percent sign. Right? This is profit percent. Loss percent is the same thing. You will put loss by cost price into 100. Remember, it is always cost price in the denominator. Whenever you have to convert it to percentage, be it fraction or decimal or ratio, if you have to convert it to percentage, you have to multiply by 100 and put a percent symbol. So let's take an example. Say shopkeeper sells an item worth 100 rupees for 96 rupees. Is this a profit or loss? No, he sells an item worth 100 rupees. That is actual cost price is 100 rupees. And what is the selling price? He sells it at 96 rupees. If you see selling price is less than cost price. Selling price is less than cost price. That means he's at loss. Why it's loss? Because because selling price is less than cost price. When selling price is less than cost price, it becomes a loss. Loss is cost price minus selling price, which is 100 minus 96. 100 minus 96 is 4 rupees. So, he is at loss of 4 rupees. Now, what is the loss percentage? Take loss divided by cost price into 100 and then put the percent symbol. So, loss is 4 rupees. Cost price is 100 rupees into 100 and then percent symbol. So, I will get 4 percent. So, loss percent is 4 percent. Now, let us take an example. By selling a book at rupees 250, the profit made is rupees 50. What is the cost price of the book? So, a book has been sold at rupees 250 and the profit after selling the book is 50 rupees. So, let us write down what we have and we need to figure out cost price of the book. So, Selling price is 250 rupees. Profit is 50 rupees. We need to find cost price. So, what is the formula for profit? Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. Selling price is 250 rupees. Cost price we don't know. We need to find out. Profit is 50 rupees. Right? We are substituting. So, what we will get? Let's call this as cost price itself. So, we'll get. So, let me just rewrite this. 250 minus CP is equal to 50. Therefore, 
cp is equal to 50 i'll get this towards this side when i shift 250 to this side it will become minus 250 and this is minus cp so this will be minus 200 right so minus cp is equal to minus 200 minus and minus will get cancelled so i'll get cp is equal to 200 rupees so this is the cost price let's take another example the cost of an article is rupees 80 if the profit of rupees 20 is made by selling the article find the profit percentage so there is an article the cost price of the article is 80 rupees this article is sold right and after selling this article there is a profit of 20 rupees we'll have to find profit percent right first let's write down what we have cost price is 80 rupees profit is 20 rupees what we need to find we need to find profit percent let's write the formula first profit formula is selling price minus cost price we don't know the selling price we know the cost price which is 80 rupees profit is 20 rupees therefore selling price is 20 plus 80 which is 100 right selling price is 100 rupees we need to find profit percent right ultimately profit percent is take profit divided by cost price you need to find percent so whenever we need to find percent you have to multiply with 100 and put a percent symbol so basically profit percent would be what is the profit 20 rupees what is the cost price cost price is 80 rupees into 100 so this is going to be two ones or four ones or four ones are 25 sir so 25 percent we'll have to always put the percent symbol so profit percent is 25 percent see in this example there is no need to find the selling price okay there is no need to find the selling price you can directly find the profit percent the reason i found the selling price is in case in the same question if they say find the selling price right find the selling price then you can find the selling price using this particular formula but otherwise it's enough if you directly find the profit percent so let's take an example where we have to find the value of a house in the purchase of which the broker was paid 2% brokerage which amounted to 80,000 rupees. This is slightly trickier because you are buying a house and a brokerage has been charged. Brokerage percent is given, brokerage amount is also given. But we don't know the actual purchase price of the house. So let's assume, let the purchase price or the buying price of the house be X. Why X? Because we don't know. So let's assume X. Now, 2% of this purchase price, 2% brokerage is charged on the purchase price of the house. 2% of purchase price is rupees 80,000. Okay. So, 2%. Let's immediately write. What is 2%? 2% is always 2 by 100. Percent. So, per 100. That is by 100. By 100. So, 2% of purchase price off off means i told you off means multiplication into purchase price we don't know the purchase price so we put it as x and this is equal to 80000 rupees now from this we'll have to find the value of x because ultimately we need to find purchase price we need to find this purchase price so this is going to be x is equal to 80000 rupees i'm going to shift 2 by 100 to this side so when i shift this is into right 2 by 100 into x so when i shift it's going to become this 100 which is the division which is the denominator will be will go to the numerator so it will become 100 and 2 2 which is the numerator will come to denominator that is it will become the reverse when it goes to the other side it is 2 by 100 it will become 100 by 2 so we'll get 40000 into 100 which is four six zeros so the purchase price is 40 lakhs rupees with this we've come to the end of this particular topic if you found this video useful do press a like and share it thank you